Hello modding and or Victoria 3 enthusiast. Today I'll be telling you how to create a mod file and how to change the name and colors of countries in the game of Victoria 3. The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a mod file. This is pretty simple. You just open up the Victoria 3 launcher here and you go to, they make it very easy, you go to all installed mods and uh, you go up here to mod tools. Here you just press it and you create a new mod. It's it's just a tool to create a mod. I'm not sure why they have it as plural, but we're gonna call this. Uh, I'm gonna call this one tutorial. You can call it whatever you want, obviously. And there we go. We have created a mod. Now, in order to actually use this mod in the game, we're gonna have to create a playset. It's pretty simple. You go back to this uh, thing, drop down here, and you go to playsets. Then you go over to this selection here, and you can add a new playset. I'm gonna call this tutorial once more. And there we go. It's now selected. We're using this. And now we need to add a mod. And we add the mod that you want to use. Now you will have to go to your Paradox Interactive folder. Whenever you got your first Paradox Interactive uh, game, you put this folder somewhere and this is where all of your things are stored. I'm not sure exactly where it will be for you. In mine it is in my Documents folder. Then I'll go into Victoria 3 and I'll open up the mod folder. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the mod folder is where our new mod lives. And here we are, tutorial. Now, I'm not entirely certain exactly the skill level everybody here is going to be with mods, so I'm going to explain a little bit of the logic just in case somebody who's uh, very inexperienced uh, has come along and wants to get into modding. So let's say you're playing a game like Monopoly with your eccentric friend named, uh, let's say, Monputer. Now, you're having fun, right? But the thing about Monopoly is that everybody has their own home rules to try to make the game more interesting. Normally, these are done ad-lib without any documentation uh, necessary or required, but my computer, very eccentric fellow, he won't really stand for that. Instead, he wants you to create a whole new rulebook with your own rules. Otherwise, he'll, he'll make the game corrupt. Just go with it. So now you're stuck making a new rulebook. Only, you don't want to have to write an entire rulebook for Monopoly because those things are so thick. So instead, you do something clever. Instead of completely throwing away the official rulebook and writing an entirely new one, you will instead keep the official one and will create a Holmes rule rulebook to act as a subsidiary. Basically, the official rulebook will still be king and dictate the entire game, but you write your new rules in your home one. But this creates another issue. Let's say, for example, that you want to take the spinner from the game of life and use that to move, rather than dice, for whatever reason. You can write in the new rulebook that you move using the spinner, but the old rulebook still says that you move with the dice. Now, normal people will be able to easily tell the intent of this new rule, and how it's supposed to override the old one, but to Monputer, a very strange fella, these two things aren't mutually exclusive. As far as he knows, the intent is that you move both with the spinner and with the die. How can we fix this? Well, we could specifically write in the new rulebook that uh, the dice are no longer used, but that's kind of messy and we're too lazy to do that for an entire rulebook. We could say that the new rulebook supersedes the old one, but remember, Bonputer, very eccentric fellow, he needs something more precise to be satisfied. Otherwise, a single rule could overrule the entire rulebook. Do you see something that we could use to fix this issue without Bonputer ruining the game? That's right! We see that all of the rules involving movement are under this one heading. Thus, to satisfy your horrible friend, we can write this heading into the new rulebook, and we can say that once we write a rule under one of these subheadings, it only gets rid of everything in the old rulebook that's also under that subheading. This also has problems, since longer sections may pose difficulty if we want to change just one thing, but we can just copy and paste the offending rule, and you know, you can see, I, I hope you can see how this translates to mods. So here we are, we're ready to uh, try to change the color of the game. On the, my left, I have my uh, tutorial mod, and on my right, I have I have the Victoria 3 for my Steam library. This is not the same one that's in your Paradox folder. This is the actual instance of the game. In, in my case, it's in Steam Apps, Common, and the Victoria 3. But basically, what you want to find is that in your Victoria 3 folder, you will have this folder called Game. And this is where we're going to start. And so in our mod... We're going to have to create a few folders first. We're going to have to create the common folder. And when we create these folders, it's very important that you keep everything uh, exactly the same. Case sensitivity and everything it has to be spelled perfectly right because computers are annoying to work with. We're going to create a folder inside of the common one called country definitions. And then we're going to copy and paste this countries.txt inside of the country definitions. Now, another important warning, we're not going to be changing anything in the uh, regular Victoria 3 files that can ruin stuff. 
But anyways, we're going to open up the countries. You're going to open it up with the text editor. I'm using Notepad right now. And we're going to try to find um, which country we want to uh, change. So I'm going to change Prussia, but I have a problem. You see, all I see is these three letters, and I have no clue what um, these do. Like, what the heck is it? SCA? But this is pretty easy. This is called a tag. You see, the problem is in uh, Victoria 3, countries change names quite a bit. And it's kind of hard to uh, get all of that in the code. So what Paradox decided to do is they say, we're going to give these uh, countries three letters. Three capital letters. And this is going to represent them, right? So what we're going to do is you're going to go back to the Victoria 3 game. And we're going to go to localization. And we're going to go to English, because, well, obviously that's what I'm speaking. And we're going to open up countries I... English. Whoa, that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff right there. We're gonna press Control F to get the fine thing up, and we're gonna go. I'm gonna. I want Prussia. So, Prussia. Oh, look at that. It's P R U. The first three letters. I could probably deduct it that myself. But in any case, we now know P R U. Prussia. So if we go back here into the uh, countries, we're gonna go P R U, and hey, there we are. And now we can try to change the color. But but there's a problem. I don't know what these three magical numbers are. Well, that, my friend, is called RGB. I'm just going to open up a little tab and, oh, whoa, scary, scary little thing here. Uh-oh, what just happened? Well, I just uh, cleared everything just for you. I intended to do that. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to look up color picker. And what we see here is we see an R, a G, and a B. Like I said, RGB. And if we look it around, we see that those uh, numbers change. And yeah, this is this is how it works. Now another warning that's very important, do not change the uh, spaces in between them. This is very case sensitive, very, very scary stuff. You ruin everything if you do that, don't ruin everything. 238. There we go, so now we got that and we save it and we won't need that anymore. But this is enough, now you want to change the names. So we've gone back to the uh, mod, that's the first thing here. And we're going to create another folder, it's, it's called a localization. And then we're going to create another folder, it's going to be English, because that's what I'm that's what I play in, believe it or not. And then we're just gonna find the countries one. Here it is. countries.i.english.wimel. And we're gonna go into English, we're gonna control C and control V, then we're gonna open this one up. We're gonna find Prussia. And there we go. So the tag is here. As long as the tag is here, it will know that we're talking about Prussia. So we can change this to anything we want. But you don't want to just change the name, you want to change the adjective. So we go here, we see PRU underscore ADJ, that stands for Prussia Adjective. So you want to change that as well. Now we're going to bring back Victoria 3, we're going to go to Home, and you see this playset here, we're going to want to change this playset to the mod that you just created, and then Play. Now we're going to test if it works, we go to the New Game, Sandbox, and hopefully if everything is right, it should be a different color and a different name. There we go, Sun.